Hello again, I am Blunty, and you are the audience, and this, well, this is the Scoopio 3, a 3-axis gimbal stabilizer for GoPro and similarly sized action cams. And if I'm completely honest with you, I really want to keep calling it the Scorpio, because that's all my brain screams when it seems the name Scoopio. Scorpio sounds cooler, doesn't it? But anyway, it's basically mechanically identical to the Z1 smartphone stabilizer I've already reviewed and touched on in yesterday's video about the nifty GoPro adapter for the smartphone gimbal. And you may very well be thinking, well, if I can use the Z1 for the GoPro and smartphones, why would I want to use this beastie, which only does the GoPro thing? And the answer lies in one of its core differences. The battery and control wand stick thingy is separated from the actual gimbal head by about a meter and a half of sturdy cable, meaning instead of just being a purely handheld stabilizer, the Scopio can be used on rigs alongside lights and mics like I've got here with what Glidegear calls the horn, another product name which makes me giggle. But it is also the absolute shiz if you want to body or helmet mount your GoPro and slurp in smooth, stable, wibble and wobble free footage. Now, I'm not much of an action sports kind of guy, so while I'm sure some of you uh, motorcycle vloggers and ski bunnies out there will be foaming at the mouth of the body mounting possibilities here, me, well, I got the tingles when it occurred to me I could use the Scopio in conjunction with a simple monopod to emulate crane and jib movements really, really easily and without all the complicated and, more importantly, heavy gear that crane jibs usually entail. It means I can actually use this thing out in the field. It means I can actually use this thing when I'm filming events and expos and stuff. It's brilliant. I'm so excited about the possibilities. Now I can get a solid level stable and stabilized crane shot with nothing more than a monopod and the Scopio. And of course, should I want to simply go handheld, I can mount the gimbal head onto one of the hand grips I've got kicking about. As I said at the start, mechanically this Scopio operates identically to the Z1, meaning it's nice and easy to use. You've got the standard modes of heading follow, where it locks pitch and roll, smoothly rotating to the direction you point it in. Heading and pitch follow mode, locking roll and smoothly tracking your pitch as well as heading. And heading locked, where it keeps the camera locked onto the direction you initiated the mode in, regardless of any other movement. And between those three modes, you get a lot of flexibility and possibilities. Power comes from a pair of 18350 LOPO batteries, a micro USB charger is included of course, and the average battery life is well, about the same as the Z1, unsurprisingly, between 3 and 5 hours depending on how much work you're asking the motors to do. The mount is specifically made for the GoPro and comes with two mounting screw lengths, so you can use it with or without the LCD backpack. And of course there's a cutout at the back of the mount, so if you are using the GoPro with a screen or you have a GoPro with a screen built in, you can use it nice and easy. It even has a special little cable you can optionally use to feed power to the GoPro directly from the gimbal's own batteries. They also include what would usually be a handlebar camera mount thingy, but here you can use it to connect the gimbal to the control handle for a handheld configuration that is, well, a bit clumsy if I'm honest with you, but perfectly functional. Additionally, if you've got one of the GoPro well, clone action cameras, it can work too. So long as its dimensions are close enough to the GoPro, of course, any bigger than the Yi here, which itself is ever so slightly larger than the GoPro, and you'll probably have to try some Velcro straps or rubber bands to MacGyver your camera into the mount. The Scopio is very nimble, absolutely solid in operation, of course, important, and as we've seen, very, very flexible. So it's tough choice time, guys. Would you prefer the handheld only but dual functionality of smartphone and GoPro that the Z1 offers you? Or narrow your choices down to a GoPro but get all the cool tricks the Scopio's detachment of the gimbal head from the handle provides? Drop a comment and make your choice. And hey, while you're on the way down there, do the thing with the buttons if you'd be so kind. Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.